All right, Shalom. First off, we'll give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Rakak with Das. Let me give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And this is Sir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Basically, the title of this video is um, We Have No Regrets in This Truth, Man. Okay. As no um, looking back, the word regret means feel sad, repentant, or disappointed over something that has happened or has been done, especially a loss or missed opportunity. Okay? So, um, basically, we don't, we don't feel... Uh, any regret or um, let's say remorse okay about coming into this truth okay you shouldn't feel guilty okay that's a good word also like like this truth is a is a crime or an offense okay or, you, or you're doing something wrong this is the right thing to do okay um, that's what this world going to try to make you feel like okay you might have uh your family members or friends okay might have your woman okay you might you might have yourself you know that 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 you have to fight against because hey you you just um for some reason you you might feel like you 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 missing an opportunity like when when brothers go out on a on a highway and hedges on on a Saturday or whatever day works for you, and you might feel like oh I you know that's a lot of time that I could have been doing okay something else or um hey why I gotta do all these videos a week that that's time that I could be doing something else or so why do I need to put time into um actually studying and um you know putting that work for the Lord. Okay, you feel like you're missing opportunities. Okay? You're not supposed to have no regrets in this truth. Luke 9 and 62. And Yahweh Shah said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah. Okay? So you're not supposed to come into this truth and and uh, have regrets. Okay? And you got 2 Corinthians 7 and 10. For godly sorrow works repentance. Okay? As under the word regret, you have a word for contrite uh, or contrition. Okay? The state of feeling remorseful or repentant or, or uh, penitent. Okay? So, in the scriptures and uh, the book of Psalms, the 51st chapter, okay, it talks about how the Lord is uh, near unto them, okay, it, this is uh, Psalm 51 and 7. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O Yahweh, bless me outside, thou would not despise. So the thing is that that godly sorrow, okay, when you come into this truth, you realize that a you it says it works repentance, okay. You found out that you was going off, and you you actually feel ashamed for it, okay. Um, yeah, you feel you feel ashamed for it, and you you don't want to do it no more. So you change your ways. Okay. It says, um, yeah, for godly sorrow works repentance. Actually feeling bad about the things that you did and changing what you what you did. Okay, it says to salvation not to be repented of or, or basically not to be regretted. Okay? When you when you when you have that, that righteous mind towards your help by some you you come into this truth. And you, you want to do right by the Lord. Okay? And you change your ways. 
to in order to obtain that salvation that's to come, Lord willing, if you're of the elect and you and, and you're doing the things that's that's needed, you you don't have no reason to regret anything that that comes along your way. Okay, no matter what you may have been in in in, in this life. Okay, I'm talking about this this current world that we live in. Okay, you could have been uh, somebody that could have probably been the next uh, athlete, the next uh, uh, businessman, or whatever the case may be. And this truth, you know, that's that shit don't matter, man. None of this stuff matters. You could have been somebody that could you could have been getting a lot of money, could have been getting all the women. You would have got shape ups and stuff like that. But a lot of people they come into this truth and they 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 uh they realize like man I you know <laughs> when I had my shape ups and stuff like that or when I had a bald head you know I, I had no lack of of women you know and and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people fall out of the truth because of, because of women okay yeah, like I said you, you um you have people that's that's gonna come up against you but that's that's just Satan. Trying to test you to get you off the path. Okay, it says, but the sorrow of the world works death. And that, that getting off the path is, is those ways that's going to destroy you. Okay? Because you actually feel bad because you could have been doing more in the, in this world. You know? On that, that time that you've been putting in for, to, for doing videos, now you sitting up there doing some more other type of shit. That 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 uh, doesn't uh, really profit you at the end of the day, you know. That's that's the path to to to, to death, because we is is uh, the men of the Lord. We supposed to be working toward in person towards that mark, which is uh, salvation. Okay, keep on keep on. If you're running a race, okay. Last thing you want to do is just look back and just you know go backwards. You 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 study trying to, to 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 go to that finish mark, okay. Acts three and nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that you your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, okay. So we supposed to re repent and change our ways, okay. So so when the Lord returns and 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 press that restart button, okay, that we we. We're we're of we're hopefully of the elect. Okay, Proverbs nineteen and three. The foolishness of man perverse his way. So so a nigga. Okay, that's that's a fool. Okay, with you coming into this truth and you thinking, oh, the Lord ain't gonna come. The, the Lord probably the land is coming and stuff like that. So maybe I can go back do something, you know. And and guess what? That's moving without. The fear of the Lord, okay. That's what um, this scripture in Second uh, Corinthians was going into. Also, Second Corinthians seven eleven. For behold, this self same thing that you sorrowed after a godly sort, okay, having that that uh, repentance unto the Lord or remorseful, being remorseful unto the Lord because you know we went off according to what the scriptures say. It says, what carefulness it brought in you. Okay? So so being uh, remorseful unto the Lord, now you're more careful in, uh, on um, not doing the wrong thing. It says, yeah, what clearing of yourselves. Now we're able to think more clearly with a, with a more clear mind. It says, yeah, what indignation, that righteous uh, hatred. Yeah, what fear? fear, actually fearing the Lord. Okay, because if you don't do what the scriptures say, guess what? You're going to get destroyed, man. Okay, if, you, if you're not of that number, it says, yeah, what vehement desire. Okay. Now, desires is trying to get, please, please, how about some y'all shop? Okay. We don't know. We know, yeah, the scriptures say that, that we're going to get um these blessings like, uh you know, everlasting life. Okay, and um, the other things like as far as like um, uh, you know, when the scriptures talk about you know seven women so so obtain uh to one man and you know having all the blessings and being um, basically perfect. 
okay? Those are, are future blessings that, that's going to come, that, that's never going to change. But right now, okay, we got to deal with the, the present time. And, and our desire should be on to holding on to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Okay? No matter what comes our way, it says, yeah, what zeal? Yeah, what revenge? Okay? And we're not supposed to go out there and go revenge ourselves. Okay? You know, you might think, oh, yeah, this a second time might pop up for you to get that opportunity that you may have missed in the world. Okay? And that opportunity that may have come, may come, may be a woman, okay, or 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 or, or miss job opp job opportunity, and and you thinking, oh yeah, now is my chance to, to 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 make things right, okay, rather than actually serving the Lord, and that's when you fall out because you actually looking back onto the kingdom and trying to make things work in the society, okay. It says in all things. Yet, you, you have approved yourselves to be clear in this matter, okay? And there are certain things that you just have to be clear on, okay? And this this truth to make it so that you, you you straight, okay? But it says, the foolishness of a man perverses his way. So you come into this truth and you go back into the world and it says, and his heart frets against the Lord, okay? You you mad at the Lord now. You, you really wasn't sincere, Basically. So now you blaming Yahweh by some outside for everything and you going back into the world because guess what? You don't desire the Lord. You're you're not fearful of the Lord. Romans five and one, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh by some outside through our Lord with Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Sah Masiach. By whom by whom also we have access by faith and to his grace. Wherein we stand, because we actually trying to do what the Lord said and being in His His good graces. Okay. That that by doing what He said, that He shows favor unto us. It says, and rejoice and hope of the glory of Yahweh by Shemuel Sah, because we have brothers that's on the same page as us. It says, um, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulation works patience. And patience experience. And experience hope. And hopes hope makes not a saint. Because the love of Yahweh Shemuel Sah is said abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. That set apart spirit. Okay? Being being of the Lord's chosen people. Okay, and like I always say, Lord willing, we are of the that number. Okay? By, by living a set apart life okay even though the whole world hates us nobody wants to do what the lord say only we can see it okay we th this is a blessing man okay rather than going uh, going out to that party every every time when you could be doing something for 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 the lord or or, or linking up with a brother okay or, or just Doing something to, to, to make yourself a little better in the spirit, okay? As far as like the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding go. Second Peter 2 and 20. For if after this, for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, because this world is polluted through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Sah, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. And once you come into this truth and you go back into the world, you your, your destruction, man, is sealed, man. Okay, you got more demons on you than you had when you first came in. It says, for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to return from the holy commandment delivered unto them. Okay, so, so the Lord... Told us to, to, to live a set apart life, but you don't want to do that. So it's best that you have not known that. Okay? If you have them regrets. Because now you're going you're going to be destroyed. Okay, and that destruction may be thermonuclear missiles. Okay? Now don't don't think that you're gonna get get it get out the easy way. Okay? You can't have uh the best of, of both worlds in this society, okay, when it comes down to this truth. 
You got to take whatever the Lord gives you. It says, but it has happened, uh, happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again. So looking back onto the world, okay, that's all uh, vomit. It's all shit. You know, there's nothing to go back to. Okay? You're going to die in this world, okay? When this, this this truth says that you can you can live forever, man. And get them blessings that that you know the Lord um only the Lord can give you. It says, and the sow that is washed and and her wallowing in the mire. Okay? So so going having regrets and going back into the world is not a thing of this truth, man. Okay? You should be able to press on towards that mark and keep on keep on pushing, man. Okay, and no looking back. So with that, man, I want to say uh, so long.